Hail and Meshes Adventures. Baldur's Gate 3 just released, and if you want to play Sorcerer or Wizard and don't know how good he will be at later levels, what spells will be unlocked at level 6 spells? So, let me show you what's going on when you level up your magic caster and show you all spells from higher levels. In this video I will go over all level 6 spells available for Sorcerer or Wizard. So let's go. And I know you are here for level 6 spells, but let me first show you my favorite level 4 and level 5 spells. So level 4, Stone Skin. When you cast it on the creature, it became stone. Yeah. <laughs> looks amazing, looks amazing and funny. This will give you resist to different damage types. Just half the damage of non-magical, bludgeoning, piercing and slashing damage. <laughs> Pretty funny stuff. So Polymorph will make someone a sheep, even yourself. But we see that we are definitely a sheep right now. So this beautiful sheep, it's actually our character right now. So Polymorph has ended, it's really funny, you can turn anyone into sheep for 5 turns, but it works same as druid spells, so when sheep got reduced to 0 hit points, it will become its normal person. So you can cast it on enemies if you want to, to just remove them from the battle and its concentration spell, but you can cast it on allies to save them. So you see your ally is really in like bad position, you can turn them into polymorph and maybe save them for a few turns. And Ice Storm, yeah, very very nice spell, it creates ice area for two turns and as you can see very large radius and you just create a lot of ice with it. Really nice, really beautiful spell. So this was level 4 spells and by the way, guys, if you want uh, me to just show you all level 4 spells in different video, I just think level 6 is more interesting, then just go into comments and write Hey Spot King, here's the potato, I want level 4 spells video. And now let's go to level 5 spells, Insect Plague. Insect Plague, large radius, again very large radius, and you just create a lot of plague, this like beetles and everyone who goes in will take really problems. Because it's difficult terrain, you will get damage. So they attack every turn for 10 turns. Really, really, really strong spell. It requires concentration too, so don't forget you need concentration. Another concentration spell, level 5, Wall of Stone. So you basically press on one point and then go to another point. For example, you press once here and then go to here and you create this wall. So this wall creates basically wall. And it's very nice if you want to make some ambush. For example, you just lure enemies to this part. They come on the few enemies, then you create this wall and they in problems. Just like that. Interesting, cool, funny spell. Let me restore my spell slots. So, Cloud Kill, my favorite actually from level 5 spells. It's required concentration again, but it's making this poisonous area, really large poisonous area. And it's making like uh, cra crazy damage, just a lot of crazy damage with poison. And another good, good one is telekinesis, so you can concentrate on this and use objects and throw them on very large distance. So as you can see, I just got chest from over here when I'm standing here and I can throw it whenever I want. And this stuff just did some damage and the larger the object the more damage it will do with telekinesis it works like that and once per turn if you 
have your concentration you can use again your telekinesis so you can just throw enemies as much as you want with your telekinesis for 10 turns as while you keep in your concentration very funny very cool very interesting spell and now guys now the spot king will show you level six spells so let's go i guess most uh, set parts that uh, classes will get only one spell slot for level six that's why playing sorcerer and creating level six spell slots would be really funny and cool part if we will be able to but we can only create level five spell slots so level six spells pick them wisely because you won't be able to use them a lot let's go globe of invulnerability create a barrier that makes creatures and objects inside it immune to all damage so you just put the globe and you are immune see i like the spells uh, like beautifully made Re really cool really fun cool looking spells so next one sun beam a beam of brilliant light seals and blinds all creatures in its path. Until the spell ends, you can recast Sunbeam without expanding a spell slot. So, you just cast this Sunbeam! Beautiful, beautiful stuff. But I guess you want to see how this works on enemies. And I guess it's time to use our Sunbeam on these imps. So... Beautiful, beautiful, and again it lasts for 10 turns, so we can go and recast it on next turn, I guess. At least I guess, I haven't tried actually. Yes, so as you can see it's one of the really best level 6 spells, because it's doing nice damage, 6d8, and you can cast it one more time. But be careful, it's friendly fire. It's not a friendly, friendly fire. <laughs> but there is one more cool and very fun spell. So it's Disintegrate. You shoot green ray from your finger. And if 10d6 plus 40 damage is enough to kill target, if he fails dexterity saving throw, then he will become... Ash. Sadly, not this time. Ow! Oh my god, okay. She haven't become Ash, but we will try it on imps right now. And I will show you, I already tested it and it's <laughs> very funny. So, let's wake these boys and just look on disintegration. Oh my god, he just became Ash. And I guess it's time for your favorite, chain lighting. 10d8 damage with chain lighting. Yeah, one of the most powerful spells of level 6. I actually like Sunbeam a little bit more. It's doing less damage, but you can recast it 10 turns in a row. But this one, if you need large damage, just go and cast it. And enjoy this chain lighting. What a beautiful stuff. So let's go and watch other spells. So what spells we haven't saw yet? Arcane Gate, of course, and Circle of Dash. I bite, and just for you, my friends, one more level four spell, Wall of Fire, because we have so like every level six spell already. So let's go. Wall of Fire is pretty easy spell. You press one line, you go, and it's. Ra large large radius so what is actually radius radius is 18 meters so you can press it on one side of the room and prolong it to just another side of the room if target is not blocked just like that and you're creating really large fire surface wall of fire it will be hard to go through so nice interesting beautiful spell as always and it's concentration spell, so you can break concentration on it if you need. And let's use our arcane gate right now. So you're creating two linked teleportation portals. For example, one will be over here. And second over here. Yeah, it's like worst use of the portals. Let me reset it. So you pick 
one place and another place. This can be used for your barbarians, warriors and other guys, maybe your rogues. So you can make one portal on low ground, wipe one portal on high ground and your rogue can go through this portal on turn start, attack from someone from backstep position and then go into the portal and again to the shadows, something like this. Pretty useful, interesting, as all this beautiful stuff. And let's go find enemies to use Eye Bite or Circle of Death. So, let's do Circle of Death. We pick target and if some target or the target is nearby, I guess they, everyone will get massive damage. So you scoop in a massive sphere of entropic energy around creature. They've set in the target and all surrounding creatures. Yeah, for 8d6 damage, pretty nice. Let's gather, I guess, in one place and try this spell. So everyone nearby, circle of this. Goodbye everyone. Oh, sorry. It's friendly fire spell. <laughs> oh my god. Let's help her. Okay. So, I bite. Your eyes become black corridors walled in teeth. You guys capable of inflicting dread, sickness or putting creatures to sleep. So, while concentrating, you may cast I bite without expending a spell slot for 100 turns. And basically, if you keep your concentration, you can keep someone sleepy, feared or sickened with disadvantage on Dante Crawls and ability checks. So we just put this creature into sleep and he saved. Sadly, sadly. And as you can see, we keep concentration on this stuff and we can just continue casting this every turn as much as we want to. I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to leave potatoes in the comments and see you in the next videos, guys.